I'm Ashley. This is Ben. It's for my honors project, and I'm doing a live demo of Chinese brush painting to raise money for charity. Here are some of the people who came to watch the painting process, which took place at Arcadia University. I advertised around campus with flyers and digital signs. The demo lasted for two and a half hours, and people could come and go as they pleased. I completed about 14 paintings in that time frame. Paintings that were completed during the demo were available for a donation. All proceeds benefited the Baby Bureau, a local charity. I was first introduced to Chinese brush painting in my Drawing 2 class back in 2014. Initially, I struggled with the coordination required to get aesthetically pleasing brush strokes. The medium required a very fast work pace and wasn't forgiving of any mistakes. The style relied on shapes more than lines, and I had worked with lines in my art my whole life. However, after some experimentation and practice, I discovered the appeal of the style. It uses only a few strokes to capture the spirit of a subject, and the process of creating this kind of work is both energizing and meditative. There is a limit to how much control you can have over the behavior of the ink, but the painting can still end up beautiful regardless if you anticipated the exact nature of every brushstroke. In this way, Chinese brush painting is sort of like an allegory for a life philosophy. Sometimes life doesn't conform to your plan, and you have to learn to adapt and flow with it and appreciate it, the beauty in it, even if it didn't happen the way you intended it to. People who stopped by the event were encouraged to take my card. I post artsy updates on my Facebook page, Ash Tree Original Art. I'm also making my paintings available online. Okay, so who are you? I'm Fran Wasserman, director of the Baby Bureau organization. How long have you been working for the Baby Bureau? About five years. Started about five years ago. And what do you do for the Baby Bureau? What we do is we provide clothing for underserved babies in our communities in Bucks and Montgomery County. And today we've dressed over 1,154 babies. And how do you dress them? How do we dress them? Uh, we donate gently used and new baby clothing um, to underserved babies. We donate them to social service providers in our community and they determine the need. And they donate to the new moms at the time of birth. And how much money did we raise today? Over $100. 100